Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group C. Ooh, some big matches here, because at first we will see a big clash at the bottom between Mr. Backpack and Team South America. Then we will see the Skrill going up against Star Pumpkin, and then the clash I'm looking forward to, and these who are looking forward to on the Discord, we have Pilk taking on Torvasaurus. Right, let's get on with the first matchup, shall we? A big game this at the bottom between Mr. Backpack and Team South America. At first for Mr. Backpack we have a Dasplenosaurus with the pointless technique boost and we haven't seen too much of what it can do. Okay, yes, my mic is my mic audio is I'm sorry, I just I'm just like keeping an eye on OBS in the background. I mean you won't see OBS in the background because I'll crop the video. But I, I can see I can actually see that if my mic and desktop audio are actually working. So that makes the fact that it wasn't working in the first part of one of the previous videos make me look like an idiot. Anyway, as for Team South America, we have an Alpha Irritator. This could be an irritating battle for Backpack. A good chance for both of these two to pull away from the bomb. Mr. Backpack fresh off that big win over Torvasaurus. Team South America yet to win. Ooh, a stun dash off the bat from the Dasplosaurus. Big, well, biggish damage coming. Oh, hardly any damage coming Irritator's way. But it is a good start from Mr. Backpack. Ooh, but the Irritator responds with a tragic sphere. The Irritator will be at a type advantage over this Dasplosaurus, as you can see there. So it will not be easy for Mr. Backpack, but. He had two type disadvantages last time against Torvasaurus, and he managed to win both times. Oh, here comes another Sun Dash. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Slap. Oh, yeah, I should also, I've, I also have something else to say, like outside of Dinosaur. Well, it's kind of to do with Dinosaur King, but it's kind of isn't. And I'm sure some of you have noted that I haven't done any mod showcases for Jurassic World Evolution for quite a while. And there's more to that than meets the eye. I, mean, I won't go into too much detail now, but I will I will say that next month I will be doing mod showcases again. And well, I already have two ready to showcase. So yeah, I will be back doing mod showcases. But this time, unlike last time... I will put these, I will link all the files down on the, in the video when I do, when I do the mod showcase. I will have a file for all the mods so you can use them yourself. Because I think that's definitely a mistake I made. Anyway, back to the match and Mr. Backpack is going to take a 1-0 lead. Team South America, not in the best of shapes, but... Coming in next for Team South America, we have the beast itself, the Saltosaurus. And I'll say it before and I'll say it again. Watch out for that Hydro Cutter. And I'm really hoping we get to see Hydro Cutter this match. A maxed up Hydro Cutter can do serious damage to Mr. Backpack and his team. Oh, well, there's a crit. I mean, a crit should be enough for Saltosaurus to kill Daspinosaurus. Ooh, but a crit is not what Saltosaurus is going to get. Instead, the Daspinosaurus gets off a fire cannon. The Daspinosaurus. Not too much damage dealt, though, but the Hydro Cutter has been triggered. Come on, Saltosaurus, get a hit. I think it's going to be the same old story again, where the first dino should have been taken out, but wasn't, and gives the player a 2-0 lead. And I think that's what's going to happen in this match. Like, stop going scissors! Like, that's like five scissors in a row. It's not going to work. Like, this random number generator doesn't feel very random. 
I mean, I have I have it one to six for the reason like so we don't have repeated moves. It's less likely. I may have to put it to one to nine. Maybe. Actually, would you like me to do that for the next tournament? I won't do it for this one, but for the next tournament, would you like me to increase the random number generator from six to nine? I might do that. Anyway, as for Team South America's third and final dino, we have Carnotaurus. The attack type beast. Watch out for that ninja attack, it will do a serious amount of damage. Ooh, the Carnotaurus finally getting the hit. Team South America finally fighting back. Oh, never mind. It's, a, it's got scissors fever. Where it seems to want to go scissors. But the Daspiosaurus doesn't mind that because he keeps getting off fire cannons. And this time, he will be at a type advantage. So he will do more damage and take less damage. Of course, at this point, it doesn't really matter since his health is so low. Well, at least it's not fire cannon. Oh, well, thank goodness for that. Team South America killed Daspidosaurus. Relief for Team South America. And a denial of a, five, of a maximum of five points for Mr. Backpack. Okay, as for Mr. Backpack's second dino, which will probably win the match for him, we have a Nodosaurus, the MVP of the team, this beast. That elemental power, we've definitely seen what that can do. And because of this dinosaur, you know, I think elemental power might see a bit more play in the next tournament. Well, no surprise here, Mr. Pack Pack gets the hit and takes a bonus point win over Team South America. Well, the Daspilosaurus did most of the work. The Nodosaurus just came in to finish it off and get all the glory. Right, I was quite dis I, I don't like matches like that, I don't find them fun. But, that is what it is, so we'll move on to our next matchup. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see the Skrill taking on Star Pumpkin. Up first for the Skrill we have a Mapusaurus. The Earth Beast. And quite frankly, it's this definitely inspired by the Champions team's Mapusaurus. But it's going to be tough because in the blue corner, for Star Pumpkin we have a Spinosaurus. A win for Star Pumpkin here will take them top. Well, until the end of the third match anyway. But top is definitely a good place to be. I'm going to have to double check. Well, I'll go through it at the end of the video. If, if a win for either of these two will guarantee their place in the last 32, I don't think so. Because Group C is a lot more tight than in other groups. And well, especially after the last round, like, definitely pulled it back together. Oh, we open with a tie. Oh, that's another tie. Well, su su not surprisingly, no heat eruption. Ooh, the Spino gets off the first hit. Decent amount of damage dealt. That's another tie. The Mapusaurus not looking good so far. That's another tie. Ooh, that's a crit from the Mapusaurus. And because it's reform type, you heard that sound just then? That means this crit will do a bit more damage. And there's the technique boost that will increase the chance of heat eruption being triggered. And based on the number of ties we've had in this match, it wouldn't surprise me if heat eruption gets activated. But we will not be seeing heat eruption today because the Tail Smash is going to come from the Spinosaurus and give Star Pumpkin a 1-0 lead. But it's only a slender one. Okay, up next for Mr. Skrill, we have the Piantnitskysaurus. The first ever winner of one of my tournaments, as it won the very first Discord tournament they did. And I think it had a similar moveset as well. 
I, I wonder if um, the Skrill watched some of my older tournament videos and got ideas from that. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, his Matusaurus is basically based off the one I used for the champ for the fire tournament, and this one is kind of based off the Pianitsky Saurus that Lansk used to win my first ever tournament. And Eoraptor, well, I don't know what Eoraptor is based off of, but oh well. Anyway, can this Pianitsky Saurus? Oh, that's not good. I'll say how many times. But the hell! How much damage was that? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm just speechless. Like that, that, was, that was a freaking paper, and it one shot the bloody thing. Um. Well, I was going to say before that happened. We've seen it before, where the first dino of the opposition is on the red health, and you don't finish it off, and you end up 2-0 down, just like Mr. Skrill has. Oh, Mr. Skrill, I mean the Skrill. Anyway, as for the Skrill's third and final dino, we have an Eoraptor that's become a Lambiosaurus. Could this be the saving grace? Ooh, Green Impulse will definitely come in handy there. Actually, yeah, he's been Lambiosaurus before, and we definitely saw what it can do. I think Green Impulse might be a saving grace for the Skrill. Because of that insanely high technique, the chances of Green Impulse activating when it's a tie are very high. Okay, well, the Eoraptor does what the Pianitsky Saurus should have done, and that's finish off the Spinosaurus and pull it back for Team Myth the Skrill. I keep, <laughs> I keep saying Mr. Skrill, it's not Mr. Skrill, it's the Skrill. Okay, as for Star Pumpkin's second dino, we have an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, and we've definitely seen what this beast can do. Especially when Tor uses it. And be, be assured that Flare Sword will probably activate every time this thing attacks, even though it has a grand total of 330 technique. Ding, 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 ding. Bam, bam. <laughs> okay. Oop, that's a tie. And surprise, surprise, we see a Green Impulse. Pew! Yeah, I think Green Impulse is definitely key if the Skrill wants to get back in this match. Because, yeah, look at that. It negates the damage you took in the tie. And because Eoraptor is Blunder type, it got rid of the Acro's Rock move as well. Big turn there. Ooh, another hit from the Eoraptor. Big move there from the Skrill. Oh, well, the Acrocampasaurus definitely not looking good. Ooh, oh, here we go. Here comes the hit. And how much do you bet Flare Sword activate? Oh, it doesn't. Well, well, it's right that it doesn't. It shouldn't activate like every single time the Alpha Acro attacks. But, what I will say, that's not much damage done from the Acro. Hmm, well, well, well. From 2-0 down, the Skrill has pulled it back. And, as for Star Pumpkin's third and final dino, we have a Mega Raptor. Um, if type advantage does apply to the Eoraptor, then this Mega Raptor will have the type advantage. And look at all the power it has, 2,950 strength. And double the technique, well, almost double the technique, the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Not that it matters, because Megaraptor doesn't have any technique-based moves. Ooh, a stomping hammer. This will do damage to the Eoraptor, which is very frail in comparison. Yeah, look at that, stomping hammer, which isn't really compatible with Megaraptor, and it still did a decent amount of damage. Just shows how frail... Eoraptor is. Ooh, but the Eoraptor does get off a hit. I mean, Rock is his, would be his best move to go for because of Dino Stuffer. Oh, well, a valiant fight back from the Eoraptor. Not enough ties, though, and because of that, Star Pumpkin will be getting the win. And that will put Star Pumpkin top. Well, until the until um, 
Tulvasaurus and Pelt play. Right. Time to update the table and we'll move on to our final match of this video. Alright then, and in this big clash at the top, we see Pilk taking on Torvasaurus. Up first for Pilk, we have a Baryonyx. Used by quite a lot of people in this tournament. For whatever reason, probably because I used it, but of course I used a Super Valley. As for Torvasaurus in the blue corner, we have an Isosaurus. <laughs> And there's probably more chance of this thing getting off Aqua Javelin and Ocean Panic in one match than there is of Toka getting off a Heat Eruption or a Flare Sword with Omega Armor Eokakiria. Yep, a poultry 50 technique. Um, I don't know who, who has the edge in this match. I think Torvo might just have the edge, but I, I don't know. Though, I should note out that the winner of this match will pretty much all but guarantee their place in the last 32. I mean, if it's Torvasaurus, then yeah, it'll be all but guaranteed. But but Pilk can, there's still a chance that Pilk could be knocked out of the group stage, even if they win this match. At least I think there is, but it's, they're pretty much mathematically there if they win. Ooh, good start from Torvasaurus, though. The Isosaurus looking strong. Ooh, but the Baryonyx strikes back with a crit. It's an Aqua Whip coming. Boosh. Ooh, what's this? A Shockwave. Tight. Torvasaurus in a bit of trouble here. As Pilk comes back in the match. Okay, that's Rock. Ooh, a tie though. Oh, the Isosaurus go gives Torvasaurus a 1-0 lead. But it is a slender lead. However, Torvasaurus... Pilk really needs to get rid of this Isosaurus quick. And the man to do that job is Megalosaurus. And no, not much to say since it has all secret moves. But I will say that I think... I do believe that Megalosaurus has the most has the strongest crit out of all the secret dinosaurs. I will say that. Oh, <laughs> here we go again. You don't kill the first dino and you end up going 2-0 down. Okay, never mind. The Isosaurus goes down. Pilk not making the same mistake as many other combatants in this tournament. And taking out the Isosaurus. Alrighty then, as for Torvasaurus' second dino, we have a Super Shuntungasaurus. This beast was quite disappointing in the last matchup against that Nodosaurus. Can it make up for it in this matchup? Okay, Awaken Mode on two. <laughs> I'm just going to say that this buddy Megalosaurus is a pain in the ass to make. Anyway, the Torvasaurus off to a strong start there, still has their lead. Ooh, but for how long? I mean, next round will be awakening time, and that could be what Torvo needs to finish off Megalosaurus. Oh, but he doesn't get the hit! Instead, the Megalosaurus gets off a crit, and all of a sudden, Pilk has a lead. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, a psychic bind! Just like with the Isosaurus, the Megalosaurus finishing off Shant with a psychic bind. And Pilk will have a 2-1 lead going into this crucial period of the match. Okay, as for Torvasaurus' third and final dino, we have a Kakaradonosaurus. Do not underestimate the power of this beast as it studs pack a punch. Boom! 
But can Torvosaurus get past Megalosaurus first? Or can the Megalosaurus get a, give a bonus point win to Pilk? Um, I think, I think Pilk's going to be winning this match. Not too much damage dealt, though. That's probably because it wasn't a secret move. Yep, I think that is going to be a win for Pilk. I don't think this will be lethal, but I've been wrong before. So it wouldn't surprise me if this was lethal. Bloop. Oh, not lethal, but it does guarantee Pilk points in this match. Should he, lo should he win, lose, or draw? Well, that tie will finish off the Cacarodontosaurus and give Pilk a bonus point win over Torvosaurus, who can't wait to read the chat on Discord after they watch this match. Right, time to update the table and we'll end the session. Alrighty then, well look at that, we have Pilk up top with 11 points and all but guaranteeing their place in the last 32. And then we have Mr. Backpack in second now because... Oh, hang on. Forgot to do the L on Torvosaurus. Because they did beat Torvosaurus in that matchup. So Mr. Backpack will be second on eight points. And then we have Torvosaurus in third on eight points. And then we have Star Pumpkin in fourth on seven points. And on six points in fifth, we have the Skrill. And bringing up the rear, we have... Oh, I've done it again. Forgot to update the table. Team South America with three points. Wow, <laughs> such a tight group, Group C. I mean, there is still even a chance for Team South America if results go their way. Let's have a look. Round five, who do they play? So they play the Skrill. That's a massive game. Okay, well, say Team South America gets a bonus point win, so that puts them under seven. Four versus five. Actually, no, Star Pumpkin would still go through on the tight matchup since they defeated Team South America. At least I think they did. Um. Yeah, I think so. I can't remember. Anyway, there's still a hope hope for Team South America. So it's still up for grabs. And even Top Spot is up for grabs if these two manage to win. I mean, Pilk is definitely through. I'd probably say, yeah, Pilk is definitely through. I mean, unless the Skrill win, get like five points, which I don't see happening against Team South America. Actually, it could happen. Could happen. Actually, no, I don't think it will because Mapusaurus is fire and... Team South America have two water dinosaurs. Anyway, anyway, that's enough blabbering on. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Stay tuned for next time. We'll do round four for group D. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.